It's a god awful small affair To the girl with the mousy hair I met the girl on the Mary one day But her mummy is yelling no And her daddy has told her to go Listen young lady but her friend is nowhere to be seen So how'd you become such a hot shot actor? I'm a showman. That's what I'm meant to do. To the seat with the clearest view wow, wow, wow. Hey, welcome back, everybody. Listen, you know what? This has been a kind of a really interesting movie for me. Um, Licorice Pizza. Any of you people in the 70s, you guys that, you know, that grew up like me in the 70s, 60s, 70s, right? 50s. Uh, yeah, not the 50s. Um, Licorice Pizza. And, I, you know, PTA, I don't, you know, he, he said he ran out of ideas and he just threw this out there. But Licorice Pizza was a... It's basically for a, an LP, right? Um, which is a vinyl record that didn't do well. So it's it's licorice pizza, right, Troy? Yeah, Paul Thomas Anderson. When you say PTA, you know a lot of people don't understand that. That's the producer. Great movies, really good director, good producer. Uh, he's put out some great movies like uh, what? Boogie Nights. Boogie Nights. By the way, did the you master. know that, oh, that movie Boogie Nights when he was. Uh, a, a student or something like that. He did a movie called The Dirt Diggler Story in 1988 yeah. that turned into that. Boogie Nights. Yeah, so he, he's he's a good. A good he did guy. Phantom Thread, Magnolia, The Master. I mean, the guy is. I mean, he's very there. Incredible. Will be blood. What a great yeah. movie that That's was. That's a great movie. Yeah, great movie. What's his yeah. name? Um, on the spot. Th three names. On the spot. Yeah. yeah. His name. Phil, uh, his, what's his name? It, Gangs of New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Same guy. Oh God, God, uh, so good. We'll what get back to you on that. Caprio, maybe. Stay, no, no, stay tuned in. Uh, we'll get back to you on that. No. <laughs> yeah, we're three not names. Get everything right. Three names. Not Billy Bob Thornton. No, nope, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the, the interesting thing about this for me was, um, I mean, he he does. You know, it's it's all set in 1973 in Encino, the Valley. Okay. Um, it, it, the interesting thing for me was that it was really about him because Alana, the actress, uh, how do you say her last name again, Troy? Haim. 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 Yeah. Haim. They also have a band, the, her and her three sisters. But um, he had a kind of a, you know, a, a crush on her Alana's mom. Yeah. 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 I mean, uh, what's it was it's awkward. What, she, was her, she was his art teacher. Donna Rose. Yeah. yeah. When he was seven, eight, nine years old. Matter of fact, he kept those pictures. The pictures were hanging in his son's bedroom to this day. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, it's interesting that they made that connection 25 years later. I think the camera work was fantastic. I think uh, the... Uh, it was very era worthy. I mean, it, it seemed very authentic for its time. Um, I, you know, I, I think that he had a kind of a genuine uh, outlook on on what that time really looked like. You know, you make a great point, Brandy, because I think that the location is a character. Some movies really go off and they make where you are as part of the character, which brings you in emotionally and brings you into the whole scene of what's going on. And this is, like you said, Hammer, it's um, the San Fernando Valley, early 70s. It's In not Cino. LA, yeah. it's not Hollywood. That's a different no. scene, right? Totally. You're on the other side of the 405, which is Encino. There's no, yeah. it, it, No, seriously. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And there's a bunch of uh, uh, scenes and, and places within this movie that put you right there. A lot of movies could be anywhere, right? We, right. we, we talked about Pig, our other uh, review that we did on Pig with uh, Nick Cage. That could have been shot kind of anywhere, right? It could have been France. It could have been Europe. It could have been anywhere. It was, you know, the Pacific Northwest. But that wasn't really a part of the story. This is a part of the story in... Uh, in I Licorice. missed that review. With you didn't see that? No, about, oh, ours? Yeah, about uh, with Nick Cage, you know. Uh, <laughs> Where were you? Randy? A lot of people have a lot of opinions about Nicolas Cage. You know, I mean, I think he was able to jump out of that uh, whole 
raising well, Arizona and he, Valley he was, Girl. We talk, but but I think a films. lot of people can't see him in any other light. Guys, let's, let's, get back, let's get back. Let's get back to I this thing. Okay, I uh, licorice pieces. It happened. Cool. This is this is about uh, PTA. Um, a friend of his uh, that's a producer now did a lot of stuff with Michael J. Fox. Gary what? Gossman. Gary Gossman. Um, and, you know, back in those days, I mean, this guy, he, he this guy plays Seymour Hoffman's son plays Gary. And, you know, he's got a lot of movements just like his dad i think like we all do it's his we very all first kind of, movie yeah. yeah it's his very, very first, first thing. that's what's brilliant i think yeah. too is that they, they both of the lead actors in this movie they've yeah. never acted before you a lot know? of high except for the fact movie. that you know he is philip seymour hoffman's son so he's got a lot to live up to you know yeah he's got really big shoes to fill but that's what pta does i mean he brings you know uh, it, it's kind of interesting but then all of a sudden you got huge mm -hmm. actors in there like Bradley, Bradley Cooper. Cooper. Sean, Sean Penn. Penn. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Bradley Cooper comes in. And the interesting thing about this, and I found it very fascinating how he, you know, this is like once upon a time in Hollywood. The, the way they hooked it all in together. Bradley Cooper plays the guy. John Peters? Yeah, that's a real guy that's dating Barbara Streisand. Right. And he produced The Star is Born, the second one. And then Bradley Cooper plays the the heartthrob in A Star is Born and, you know, the new one, right? With Lady Gaga. So it's all kind of intertwined. It's very cool the way they laid this thing out. Do you know who I am? Yeah. Do you know uh, who my girlfriend is? Barbara Streisand? Barbara Streisand. Sand. Sand, yeah, like sands, like the ocean, like beaches. Barbara Streisand? <sighs> no, but Streisand. Sand. It, it is, and, and if you really look at the, uh, the character list of this entire movie, there's like four or five Andersons family. There's like four or five or six Hyams. Uh, Alana's sisters are in this, which they have a rock group, by the way. Hyam, look it up. H-I-E-M, A-M, H-I-E-M. H-I-A-M. Uh, but yeah, yeah. that was his whole point. And, and let's get into that because. Right. The reason that he brought them in is because, you know, that's that's the whole point of the, the movie is right. that, you know, he had this crush on this art teacher when he was a kid. It turns out the Hyams, that's their mother. Right. right. And he wrote the Donna part. Rose. He wrote it for her. A lot of he wrote it. He, it. Yeah. He, Donna yeah. Rose was his when he was six, seven, eight. He went to the Buckley School in, in L.A. And about that time, uh, Donna Rose, um, Alana Hyams mother was an art teacher at the Buckley School. And to this day, PTA kept his paintings. I mean, he's got his paintings hanging in his kids' bedrooms. It was so inspirational to him. So for him to get back to that, I mean, it's just cool. Here's some more inspiration for you. PTA, you say, Anderson. Uh, for you folks out there who think you have to go to school for like 10 years to like accomplish something, he actually went to New York University for two weeks or three days. I think it was three days. He I think it was three it. days. Three yeah. days, yeah. yeah. He two went weeks to, or three yeah. days. He went to yeah. York University. Same to difference. To figure yeah. out how to do films and how to be a film director and producer, yeah. right? And he turned in some uh, work that was done by a, a, a worldwide known person, right? And he turned in as his own work and they said mm, plagiarism and they booted him after three days. Now I heard a second story <laughs> where he was in a class at New York University and he said, if you want to do something like if you want to do a movie like one of Schwarzenegger's, you know, uh, Terminator 3, get out of the school right now. So he, he just walked out of the New York University. He's like, I'm done. And he's done extremely well because he's talented. He I, is. You know, sometimes talent is not something that you can teach, you know? Correct. But I, I really want to just, just kind of address the cringe factor of this movie. Can we talk about that? For please, a yeah, please. You know, I mean, I, I know this is sort of, you know, a, 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 a spin on a story from when he was young. But the fact that, you know, it's this 15 year old kid who has this big crush on his, you know, this older woman, 25 who's like year old 25, girl. Yeah. And, you know, she kind of jumps into that role in it. It, it it's 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 a little slightly uncomfortable. You know what I mean? Well, like it's 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 very Mary, Mary Kay Letourneau, you know, here, here's here, wait a minute. No, 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 no. But here's where I'm not uncomfortable with this. <laughs> so when we when I was a kid, you know, you had people come in, they take your 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 class photo and do all that. And, and she was one of the people that worked as went to the high schools and they they took the pictures of the kids. He's 15. She's 25. And he asked her out. He's just this guy that just i mean he's aggressive well, there's Valentine's no but guys there's no 
There's no sexuality in it. There's no, there's Wait none a of that. She shows him her boobs. That was I mean, the only on. thing he pressured. He wanted to see your tits. You want to see the tits? Want to see the tits? And then he finally got to see him and he goes, Oh my, can I touch him? And she's like, Nope, you, you can't touch him. But Hammer, it is still a coming of age film. It, it is. is. It really it totally is. is. I mean, I get the idea, you know, that, that this is actually a thing, you know, that yeah. kids do have crushes on older people or, and, 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 or their teachers, you know, in general. Been there. But uh, do the teachers generally act on it? Do the older folks, you know what I mean? Like it's something, it seems like such a stigma. Well, well here, here's the reason why they- Thank connected. God I wasn't a teacher. No, here's the, <laughs> the, they connected because he's such a go-getter, right? Yeah. You know- Oh, the, he's a stud, man. He's Gary an Valentine entrepreneur. Is the he's just a- name, right? Yeah. yeah. He's, he's 15, but he's got like water beds. He's got pinball machines, which by the way, in LA were, were banned from 1937 to like 72. Yeah. I don't know if you know this true yeah. story. Yeah. Why? Because Why gambling. Because it was cheap gambling. Yeah, they didn't gambling. want cheap gambling going on in their city. So right. the, the guy you were talking about, Gary Guzman, uh, Guzman, is it Guzman? Uh, something like that. The producer whose story this Guzman, is, yeah. he actually had a storefront in Encino that had water beds and pinball machines. Yeah, so, absolutely. You know, well, that's that. where PTA came from. Yeah, that, I did hear about that. The, yeah. the fact that, uh, you know, he went from, you know, trying to produce movies to selling waterbeds to selling pinball machines to back to L making movies again. You know, it's kind of interesting. Listen, for me, at the end of the day, uh, PTA uh, knows all these people and it's all from his past. And he collectively put this together. It's not it's not some bullshit coming from somewhere else. It's his life experiences. That's what makes this really heartwarming for me. Yeah, in that location too, right? Early 70s, Valley, San Fernando Valley. Uh, you don't have to be from that area to appreciate it. And he uses a ton of like local place. What is it? Uh, Topo Cock? What's the name of the restaurant? Tip of the Cock? <laughs> So anyway, yeah, you're so, close. Uh, I mean, something like that, yeah. but that's the restaurant that they always go to, and that's a real place. It's not there anymore. And Licorice Pizza. There were 34 Licorice Pizza al uh, uh, music stores throughout LA, right? Yeah. It's now it, it turned into Sam Goody, and the Sam Goody went away as well. But the, it, everything about this movie is real time and real place. Even the names of all the characters, first names like Sean Penn. No, excuse me. Uh, yeah, Sean Penn plays. Uh, like Gary uh, uh, Holden or something. Like that. It's William Holden, right? The actor. Mm -hmm. And if you know who that guy is, he got totally hammered, got too drunk, fell on his coffee table and split his hoping and died, you know? So it's right. like, but everything about the movie has real names, real people. You just have to read through it a little bit. In fact, Lucille well, Ball is kind Lucille of Ball, part of that whole I feel like there was a lot of uh, aggression towards some people, you know, like including you said, Lucille like, Ball. Yeah, including yeah. Lucille Ball, you yeah. know, and then all that, she's a communist should come yeah, out. Right? And, oh, yeah, right. Yeah. Like, well, yeah. look at Bradley Cooper playing John Peters. Yep. And John Peters was the producer of the original A Star Is Born, right? And, and, and he dated uh, Barbara Streisand who played at the star in that. And it's ironic that Bradley Cooper is in A Star Is Born with Lady Gaga, you know, 40 years later, right? May I suggest that that's incorrect? I think the original Star Is Born. Second one. John Peters did her hair, did Barbara Streisand's hair because he was a hairdresser originally. The second movie he produced with Well, Bradley she was Cooper. only in the first. There's, no, 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 I know what John Peters were talking about. Yeah, but right. she never, she was in Star, the second Star is Born. Girls, girls. Yeah, yeah. Listen to her. Relax. Yeah. Relax. Did you own a waterbed? I, you know what? I got to tell you. In the 70s? Yeah, of course I owned a waterbed. And I'll tell you something. Of course. Waterbeds are great for sleeping, but. Uh, that's it. Yeah, that's, that's it. it. Oh, by the way. Boom. My waterbed had okay. silk sheets too. Yeah, I was all yeah. about it back then. I had one yeah. for a while, yeah. Bad, oh man, bad you guys move. are douchey. Um, How about you? I mean, <laughs> past the hey, probably left no, hand side. Anybody here ever done it on a water bed? No, Come on. You know what? It's I difficult. wasn't even alive in the 70s. Yeah. Can we just, uh, and then in the 80s, you know, I was like zero through 10. So, I mean, I think uh, my <laughs> position in that. <laughs> what was your position? <laughs> Hey, so listen, you know, I think this movie overall is it, it, you know, if you're a young person, it's really about love and your first emotional uh, attachment. You, you've you've got Gary, um, who's uh, Cooper's uh, 
uh, Hoffman's uh, son uh, does a great Phil- job. Philip Seymour Philip Philip Hoffman. 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 Philip Seymour yeah. Hoffman. Or Hoffman. Gary Cooper Hoffman, Cooper. whatever. Yeah, no, <laughs> he's, he's really popular. His name's Cooper, so. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. he's fantastic in the movie. Yeah, he does a great job for his first time, and, and so is Alana. Alana's first time. Yeah. Mark my words right now, she's going to get an Academy nod for this. Well, she, she, she exactly runs a lot of people film. Are, are, are pushing towards, you know, yeah. a, a, the fact that, I mean, these are first time actors is kind of phenomenal. They Which were is really great. One of the best parts about the movie. It's more about the 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 mm, than it is the high name actors. Yes, we named some big right. name actors, there are, but, they, but they're little bar, very part pieces. Small, yeah, very small roles. But, yeah. but, but guys, let's go back. American Graffiti, mm. all the actors that have become huge. They were all first name. They, they're the That's first true. movies like the there. Outsiders, I mean, you know, those kind yeah, of yeah. It's all that. But you know what? I think that's what Hollywood's got to go back to is fresh faces instead of the same old, same old. Because yeah, we're it, bored. It, and Anderson has a real cadre of actors that he uses. There's like a half a dozen of them that are just like follow him anywhere. Right. In fact, right. I'm not going to give this away. Kind of like Tarantino. I mean, yeah, same exactly. Thing. Yeah. But when you watch this movie, there's a real brief. I don't know. Look at Herman Munster character. Try to figure out who who's, who that actor is is playing it. Not, you know, not giving it away, but there's a very famous actor who plays it. Just for it's a passing shot, but it's yeah. one of Anderson's guys. You know, it's one of his actors. Well, the, one of the one of my favorite pieces was the waterbed salesman, who is Leonardo DiCaprio's dad. And he's wearing these chops and the b- mustache, and he's this really sleazy waterbed. Saying, "This is the waterbed's the best thing you don't ever have." But I mean, it was. <laughs> Tell them why you don't think that. Huh? Well, I think it was. I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm a sort of guy. I don't know. <laughs> uh, uh-huh. <laughs> he sleeps on him, you know, a cot. Yeah. Right? Yeah. No give back. No. You know, back. I got to be back in jail today, and they got just that little pad. I don't, you know, oh, I got to be back there by Jesus. five. Hey, hammer. So we got to roll this. Get Hammering. this done. Tell me how many hammers this movie gets. You know, for me, I, I think uh, PTA did a great job and uh, I love the acting and I'm emotional about it. So I'll give it four hammers. Brandy? Uh, is it four out of how many hammers? Four out of five. five. Four out of five. Okay. Four out of five. You know, um, it, it, it had kind of an almost famous feel for me and that's one of my very favorite movies. Nice. You oh, know? Yeah. Um, right. I, and I, I do like, you know, like it was some people's very first movie in that one as well. And um, I do feel like this was a, a little plot heavy, which is something that we don't see a lot anymore. And it's got like a little vignettes, you know, throughout the movie, which I actually kind of dug. Um, you know, it, it's it was an interesting story, great acting. Um, and, and I like the fact that these are these are brand new actors that did a fantastic job. I agree. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna probably go with four as well. Yeah, yeah. Well, Amherst, I I couldn't agree with you more, Brandy. Uh, you almost took the words out of my mouth. The the there's scenes and vignettes that kind of muddle the story a little bit. You got to hang with it. The only problem is Troy doesn't know what a vignette is, but <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I mean, tell me what I mean. <laughs> anyway, uh, it, it does. There's a lot of uh, uh, reviews on this movie that kind of say it doesn't really go anywhere. But I, I disagree completely. Yes, it's a little disjointed, perhaps sometimes. But the acting, the fact that they're new actors, and and I mean, the, the two leads are like Brant. That's first time they've ever been in movies, right? But you wouldn't know that. You would not know that. Yeah. In fact, again, Alana's going to get. She'll get hooked up with yeah. a nom. I think for an Academy on this, and I give it a solid four hammers. All right, guys, listen, we want to hear your thoughts on this. Watch the movie. And by the way, guys, uh, Mark, uh, thank you for uh, helping us with that last movie. And Chad, thank you. Guys, keep commenting, and we'll see you next time on Happening Now.